All right, we are now discussing discounts and markups with our percents. This is section 6.6. Six. I am going to be using those, these video notes. If you have them, go ahead and fill them in. And if not, feel free to just write it in your book. So a discount is a decrease in the original price of an item. Okay, we like discounts. Uh, Black Friday, big discounts, right? Everybody shops then. Now, to make a profit, stores charge more than what they pay, which we know because that's why they can manage to give a discount. The increase from what the store pays to the actual selling price, so the price that you are paying is an increase from what the store paid and that is called a markup. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So in this table, the original price of the item was $95. You earned a discount of 35%. And we wanna figure out the sale price. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your original price, the $95, times that 35%, but don't forget, 35%, we're going to write it as a decimal, so 35 hundredths. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that gives us, so we're going to pull up our calculators. That's going to give us 95 times 0.35. That is $33.25. Now, is that actually the sale price? That is the discount, but is this what we're paying? And no, that is not what we're paying. To find what we're paying, we now need to take the $95 minus this amount here, so the $33.25. And when we do that, so we're going to take 95 minus $33.25. We have paid for this item $61.75. You have to be very careful that the amount you find here is not what you consider the sale price. This is your discount. Okay. Now, a different way to do it would be if 35% is the discount, how much did you actually pay? Well, take 100 minus 35 and you paid 65%. This is what you actually paid. So what you could have done was taken, and I'm going to write it over here. 95 times the 0.65, the 65% you paid. And when I do that, okay, so let's do 95 times 0.65, then I find that I am paying $61.75. The price that time is our final answer because I multiplied it by the amount that I actually paid and not the discount. Okay, so there's two ways to look at that. Alrighty, <clears throat> on this one, the sale price is $55.50. Okay, I got a 75% discount. We want to find the original price. In this one, let's go ahead and figure this is what I paid, right? So. Did I pay 75%? No, instead we took the opposite. So 100 minus 75 gave us that I paid 25%. So what we can do is we can take what we paid, or what the original was, sorry, or the original price times the 0.25 that I actually paid and that's going to equal the $55.50. Okay, well, we want to solve for P. 
These are being multiplied, so the opposite is to divide both sides by the 0.25. When I do that, I find P equals, okay, so I'm going to take my $55.50 divided by the 0.25, and I get my original price was $222. Okay, so that is what you would be doing if you went into a store and they said there was a discount. That would be what you would be using to help figure out how much money you would be paying. Alrighty, now, we were, were talking about the uh, markup. Okay, so if you worked in a store, okay, the cost to you at the store is $20. But we're gonna add this 15% to the amount. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our $20 times that 15% and we're gonna turn it into a decimal. And that's gonna tell us how much we're marking up our item. So we're gonna take our $20 times 0.15, which is the 15%, and that gives us three. So that means what I've done is I've just added $3 to the price. Well, the price was $20, okay? So this three goes in here, and now I can find the total price that the store is selling this item for, and it is $23. Okay, so they made a $3 profit to sell whatever item. Alrighty. Now this one, they're really, really greedy. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so we're again going to start with the price, the $110, times we're going to take the decimal of this. So remember, cross off the percent, move your decimal two times, and that gives us 1.4. Okay, so that's our decimal. We're gonna go ahead and multiply these. So we're gonna take 110 times 1.4, and we get this is 154. That is how much extra they're charging. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the $110 that we, the store paid, plus, we're marking it up $154. And you find out that your item that you're going to pay for is $264. But the store only paid $110 for it. Does that make you feel happy? Alrighty, and one last problem. A store buys an item for $10, okay? So we know that the item costs $10. They want to earn, so we have $10. They want to earn a profit of $25. So we wanna make $25, okay? What percent does the store need to mark up the item? Okay, so we need to find the markup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide both sides by that 10 because that gives us the markup. And that gives us 2.5. This is a percent, so we're going to move it two times bigger so it becomes 250% that they have marked this up. Alrighty, because they want to make a profit of $25. So what we did here was the store cost, here was the markup, here was the profit, okay? So here was the store amount, the markup, and the profit, okay? So let's go ahead and write that down. Um, so what we're, we've been using is the store cost, which is really the actual cost, right? times 
the percent markup. And that gives us the um, new price. Okay.